What's going on guys and welcome back to One Way Bay. Um, I'm sitting on the other side of the One Way Bay Windbreak Mountain range, I guess we could call it. Uh, as you can see, I've moved all of the pumps out of One Way Bay and into the other side. Unfortunately, uh, it's caused a great flood. And, um, yeah, this isn't, this isn't good. This is bad, actually. This is very bad. Uh, if you remember, all of the water from the pumps getting pulled in was flowing in here. So when I took the, the, um, oh, what? There was a fire during a flood. How weird is that? Anyway, the water from the pumps was getting pulled in here. So when I took the pumps away, all the water was still flowing in here, except it had nowhere to, like, get sucked up, so it just kind of... A lot of this area got flooded, and then it kind of is just going this way now, and this this area was flooded for a bit. I'm hoping that it resi resolves itself. Actually, as I say that, it looks like it's resolved itself. Very good. There's water, just standing water over here. Oh, well. <laughs> it has, uh, I think, officially resolved itself, so that's good uh, for the most part. But yeah, as you can see, I had to run a line of electricity, a power line, if you will, all the way down here. I kind of hit it down in the woods, woodsy area. Um, but yeah, now we've got five pumps over on this side. We'll never really remember them until we need more. So we got that going for us. And uh, well, unfortunately, it's sucking in all the salt water instead of the fresh water from over there, but whatever. Uh, it just means our water department's gonna have to do extra work, but whatever. So, what are we doing in this episode? Well, I had talked briefly about a metro line from here to there, which I think might be a good idea. I know it's gonna be expensive, but I think it's definitely gonna help us with a lot of this traffic. And really, this is the worst part for traffic that I think... Well, I think it's the worst part right now. Especially in the like non-industrial zone. I mean, I think hands down this is the worst part in the city for traffic. But uh yeah, beside Industry Hill, that needs to get solved real quick because things are backing up. Um and I think a big problem is that we don't really have a highway entrance exit over here, which we do actually really need to do. I should do that in this episode too. I should pull an exit over here and uh here, and then maybe put an entrance here and here, too. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I think I want to do that. Um, I think we could do something really cool by going into the mountain and then coming out as a tunnel. If it works, if it cooperates, but I'm not sure. Industry Hill, the plan still needs to be, uh, ach not achieved, but put into motion. Which will come soon, I hope. Um, alright, what do we want to do first? Fix that highway, or... Put the metro in. I think we need to put the metro in. I'm really curious as to how much this is going to cost, and maintenance-wise, I'm I'm kind of curious too. So here we're going to put a station here. We're going to put a station probably over around here, because there's a lot of actually with the Mondo intersection, we could put this thing like anywhere. We could put it over here, and people will make their way over here. So yeah, let's do that. Let's put it right here. This is a good idea, I think. Well, why are they unhappy? Why? Why would they be unhappy about that? Maybe it's because it took a building they liked away? I'm not sure. Anywho, um, can you go through... I guess you... Okay, tunnels we have to be aware of. I've, I don't think I've played much with tunnels and metro lines and stuff, but... All right, this really didn't cost that much money. I thought it was gonna cost a ton more. Wow. So, all right, that's a thing. Let's start the line, make it go over here, and bring it back. I mean, yeah. Do we have to add a vehicle? Number of vehicles on here, zero. Yeah, can I add one? Where is it? Is it... How... I... Alright, we'll look at that in a minute, but until, like, that gets up to snuff, 
and the simulation kind of picks it up, I think. I'm gonna add a path going over to here so people can get off of the Mondo Intersections pedestrian way. Pedestrian way? Sure, let's go with that. And go right up to the stop. Look at that. That is awesome. Look, people are, are already at... There are 31 people down there. Let's see if the the line is going to run. Is that a train? Yeah, there we go. We got a train on it. So, yeah, it's ready to go. It's ready and raring to go. Maybe we should think... I, I really thought that was going to take a lot more money, but it didn't. Maybe we should put another line from over here or something and then link all three of them in one line. Is that a good idea? I think so. Or maybe we do alternating. So one train's just running from here to here, and then one train's running from here to over here, or something. Um, yeah, that might be a good idea. I'm also not sure if Metro Station over here is going to be too close. Because all of the buses are going to be dropping people off over here. Yeah, actually, let's not put a station in here yet. Let us... Think about putting a station in Industry Hill when we revive or redo Industry Hill. Um, because that makes a lot more sense. So, yeah. I mean, the Metro should definitely help us with the traffic situation. I think. But only time will tell. Um, what are we gonna do? Oh, yeah. I wanted to add, not add, oops, why do I keep pressing escape just randomly? I don't know, but I did want to take this and connect it up to Farmville. <laughs> oh, look at that. We're a colossal city. How awesome. We now can use the cargo hub. We can use the nuclear power plant, and we can also buy another tract of land. Um, yeah, I'm going to probably put that one up to a vote, um, which I'll get into at the end of this episode, if I remember. I, I hope I remember. The land is the vote for the end of this episode, so stay tuned until then, and then let me know in the comments below. But, as of right now, let us affix, is that a good phrase to use? Um, this district, which we don't have a district for yet, I think we gotta do that too. There's so much to do in One Way Bay. Um, yeah, let's m pull that over to here. And let's kind of just kind of keep it level on a slight decline and then hook it up over here. I only kind of want to destroy one farm though. So that seems to work. Right there. Now anyone over here can go to work here. They unfortunately can't really come back yet. Hmm. I mean, they can get on the highway and take the long way home, but maybe we should do something like over this. Oh man, this thing's getting busy over here. Wow. Um. Hmm. What do I want to do? Oh, I did. I had talked briefly about this over here. Changing this to. That bus is going to get so confused. I'm just going to pause it real fast while I fix this up. Yeah, connecting this over to here. Sure, that works. I'm probably gonna have to rebuild this bridge in the in, in its entirety. Oop, take bulldoze mode out. But yeah, connect this up like this. That's better because now anyone, if we put another return road from Farmville, can just go along this road and come back and then come over here to their home. However, they get into their home. However, they can find their way through this convoluted mess that we call One Way Bay. Um, okay. So, we got that. That should solve some of the worker issues over here, because they were complaining about workers. And actually, we have a lot of demand for industry at the moment, so let's go ahead and build some more farms. Uh, now that we got more access to have farmers come in and do their jobs. So, yeah, let's utilize as much of this land as we can. Maybe... I was gonna say maybe we should put like three or four houses over here. Sure, I don't know, those are gonna be really small houses, but whatever. If one person moves in, it's 
gonna help us. Should we connect Farmville up to the Metro Line at some point? I think the answer is yes. Metro Lines seem to be a very, very good way to get people around. I mean, let's look at it right now. We've already had 220, 266 people on that stop, which should equate the same over here, but I'd prob it probably doesn't. Oh, yeah, it does. 266. Well, I guess one more came in, but... Yeah, they had uh, 97 people waiting to go on the line. And look at all the people. Watch. They go up the Mondo. They split off, do whatever. A lot of them are going to come over here to the bus stops where they're going to get taken back home. And perhaps we should think about putting bus stops on this side. Right there and there. And get people really... Maybe we should redo a lot of the bus stops. I honestly think that's a good idea. Because, like, we don't really need buses going over here anymore from over here if they can get on the metro and hop a line over to here. I think that's a good idea. Maybe we should do that. Um, yeah. Yeah, I like that idea. Also, while, while we do this, this is a great, um, this is gonna be a great episode to go right before Industry Hills re redo. Because we're gonna just sit and bank a lot of money while we're kind of tinkering with public transportation, trying to figure out our traffic issues. Um, speaking of traffic issues, before we do the bus line, let me fix this. We need an on-off ramp right here because, is there anything important here? Corner shop and organic foods, no. So we will demo those guys right away. Um, and we'll look at getting the on-off ramp. So, okay, this is gonna be a weird little situation over here because there's not a- there's really not a lot of room to work with? Um... Huh. We can go up like this. And then... Hmm. If we connect right up to there by doing something like this... Uh, make it kinda look cool-ish. That's cool. And then if we can pull this off and go up... See, that's the problem, though. I don't think we can go up, but we can go down. Perfect. Okay. That works real well. So we'll do this and get people onto the highway. That is kind of... Okay, it's not too, too strange. But now we need to pull people off of the highway. And that is its own issue. Hmm, how do I want to do that? Um, pull people off of the highway to go, like, just make a really strange intersection? Yeah, probably, because, I mean, screw it. We've had weirder intersections here before. Um, the only problem is, what do I want to do over here? Do I want it to go down and around over to here and then up to here? Can I do that? Can I make that happen? If I delete this, I might be able to make this happen. This might turn out to be really cool. Um, maybe? Yes. Look at that. And now we just need to solve this one, which shouldn't be that big of an issue. Because we have plenty of room. And maybe we'll just pull people off of... Stupid chirper. Almost said Twitter. Pull people off and just put them right there. So... Yeah, I think that's gonna solve a lot of weird issues, especially over here. Because as of now, everyone, everyone in the Mondo District is going to have to come- They- they had to come off the highway over here and get back to home or wherever they're going. Now they have another option, it should alleviate a lot of the pressure over here. Um, although there was a turn off over here a little bit, so it should help a little bit. Um, hopefully. It doesn't look too weird, and I think it's gonna be... F it's- it's fine. We have a new building, it's gonna tell us, of course, because we got the cargo hub, which I've never used before. Um... And I don't know if I want to use in this playthrough, to be honest. Uh, because I don't like cargo ships that much. But perhaps it's a good idea. Um... Yeah, I think I've talked a little bit about my, my, um, I don't know if discomfort is the word, but my objection to cargo ships and cargo trains connected to the outside world is that 
it tends to get real bogged down with like cargo ships bringing goods that we could otherwise pull from our resources here. Like, I'm guaranteeing that it would probably pull food from outside the world, even though we have Farmville producing food. I mean, maybe it's the way I'm playing. Maybe it's because I'm not playing it correctly. I did do that before I knew that, like, you had to put food processing and oil processing plants on non-fertile and non-oil rich lands. So that could be a major um, improvement. I'm going to have to try it. But I don't know. If, if you guys want me to, I would not be objective uh, opposed. That's the word there. I wouldn't be opposed to trying the cargo hub and connecting a cargo hub to everything else. But before we do that, we need to fix uh, Industry Hill with a its own cargo train hub. Not a big issue, but before we do all that, let's get back to the bus thing that we said we were going to take care of this episode. I'm trying to stay focused more on um, things when I'm going to say I am going to do them in this series. I've definitely gotten a little sidetracked, and uh, yeah. Um, what was I doing in here? I am looking at the vehicle editor because I did notice that we can change the ticket prices. I don't know if we should be doing that. We might want to start doing that for, like, taxis and stuff. I don't know if the code, like, the AI will see a ticket sp spike and not want to use the train. That's a very interesting point, which I don't know. If anyone knows that answer, please let me know. That one I need to know, because that's going to influence how I want to play this. If we want to increase the ticket price per kilometer for taxis, let's say, it should increase could and should help us uh, make a little bit more money. Uh, as of now, our taxis made how much? 104, 105, let's pause it. 105.44. But they've cost us uh, 460. See, I mean, people are using them. We have a lot of taxis that people are using. They're always all out. But, like, we're not making any money on it. We're not making money on anything. Um, buses, we've gained four, $648, but it has cost us a whopping $2,800. So if we up the ticket prices, that could solve a lot of little issues um, with our budget. Although, I mean, we're really, we're not hurting. Let's just be honest. We're not hurting right now. So, I don't know. Um, all right, what is this? Oh, this is the After Dark thing that I still don't know what it is. What are you? I think... It's just an asset that I I had downloaded. I'm pretty sure it's just an asset and some the the um, developer behind it put After Dark and VIP there and uh, made me think that it was part of the uh, expansion. But I think it's just him telling us that it is upgraded fully for After Dark, which is great. I like having mods that work with the new expansions. Okay, what do we want to do with these buses? Can I right-click to delete them? No, but I can go in and delete them outright over here. Should we just straight up delete all of our buses? Yes. I mean, everyone is going to really hate us for a minute. Oh my god, that may have been a terrible idea, but whatever. Um, oh, look at all the people. They're freaking out. Okay. Okay, first things first is bus lines over over here. We need a bus line over here to go... Alright, what... Can we go away, please? Okay, no. What makes most sense? Alright, let's start in Old Bay because that was our original little district. Let us kind of just see what we can do here with Old Bay. Pulling bus, or not bus, people from the streets and taking them over to here. I guess that makes a little bit of sense. And then putting them over here. Um, Alright, we have five stops. We can add one more because I did like to have six stops per route. So perhaps we want to put one... Um, this thing can go away, please. Yeah, perhaps we put one over, like, here, up here, oh, can I, like, click and drag, drag line to add a stop? 
Can I add a stop over here? Yeah. Can I add a stop right there? Yes. Does that make sense, though? Not really. It really doesn't make any sense. Huh. Maybe five is fine for that. I should have put a bus on that while I was looking at that. Five stops, and we need, let's say, two buses on that route. We will look it over later to see vehicle unbunching. Yes, uh, the depot is the original, sure. There's a lot of people waiting already, so um, let's go ahead and get the next stop real quick. Let us put one from over here down this street and just kind of maybe back this way. Yeah, that that works. That's going to be a good stop, a good little route. We'll add, I think, three for this because it's such a populated area. Um, we'll, we'll have to check back next episode to see how efficient these all are. But um, for now, I think it's a good thing to just kind of do. And we'll, yeah, we'll check back later. But um, the next stop should be probably over to Canned Tights and maybe down Poo Poo Parkway. Or maybe not down Poo Poo Parkway. Maybe we should have just one line running down Poo Poo Parkway. That sounded disgusting. <laughs> Don't have a line running down Poo Poo Parkway, please. That would be bad. We'll put this stop over here. We'll bring them over here. And then just kind of wrap it around canned tights. Which name is still awesome. Wow. To get all the way back there, they need to go all the way around. Wow. So, yeah, maybe... How many stops was that? One, two, three, maybe... Four? And then, now can I come down here? No. So that's a little loopy stop. Oh, well. It'll come back down here. Sure, let's add... Let's add two to that one, because it is a low residential area. And the next one we will add will be over here to go kind of down this area here. Um, sure, let's add a stop there. Although, no, that's a bad idea. Because, I mean, anyone like there can just walk over to, um, to the metro line, like into the Mondo intersection and then to the metro line. They don't really need to be um, having a bus ride over there, although they would definitely take it. That's not a question. But, okay, let's add a stop over here, maybe, where, can I add a stop over here? Yes. Let's add a stop over here, no, let's add a stop right here, and then remember to come back and add a path over there, that's a good idea. And then maybe one more down here somewhere, like at this intersection, and then come back and do that. So I think we've taken care of most things here. Um, I had three buses on this route. I think, no, I added two. Let's do three. Good. Okay, so we've got that part of Mondo District taken care of. This part of Mondo District taken care of. Can Tights is taken care of. Old Bay is taken care of. And Poo Poo Parkway is not taken care of. Let's take care of Poo Poo Parkway. Let's put a line starting here, and let's just run it down Poo Poo Parkway. <laughs> I gotta stop saying that. It's it's gross. So, alright. And then, sure, right there. It's a little awkward, but whatever. And then we'll put it down here. Can I go on both sides of the street? No. That one's just coming back. So, and then it'll loop back around to its part here. Um, that's kind of a weird one, so let's do three buses. That kind of goes into higher residential areas. I think we're probably going to have to up the number of buses on all of these anyway. Not a big deal. The metro line is definitely bumping. Um, but we need to get a bus line over to Industry Hill. That is a big, big one we need to do. So we'll do that from over here, I guess. Yeah, it'll go this way. I don't care how it gets here. It'll just get here. And then we'll do a bus stop, like, every few here. And then bring it around up here. It's just so people can get to work. 
I suspect this is going to be a fairly busy stop. I'm not sure, but I think it will, so I'm going to add four buses on this route. Again, we'll look at this next episode. Somebody remind me to check that out. But yeah, that's that. I think the Mondo um, Transit Corp, <laughs> the Mondo Transit Corporation area is going to definitely be uh, m better than it was before. Unfortunately, Pleasure Town's bus depot is now rendered useless. Um, we do... Oh, wow! I didn't notice that before. The taxis are highlighted in this view. That is awesome! That is so cool. So, um, actually, let, let me go back to that. So we can kind of see the, like, where all the taxis are right now. And right now it looks like... Well, that stop is... <laughs> That stop is packed! Wow! Okay, we're gonna definitely need to look at that one in the next episode. Um, but yeah, I, I think we need more taxi... ...thing... taxi cabs. I mean, look, we have 25. They're all out there right now. Depot vehicles. All of them are out. So, yeah, we should definitely put in just a ton of taxis. Why not? I mean, it's definitely just gonna help us. It's not gonna hurt us. So, alright. Um, yeah, we've done that. Uh, we did a lot in this episode. We did a lot in this episode. Um, yeah, just to recap, we had a great flood. We moved all of this. We optimized for a metro line. We're going to continue to expand the metro line, all while banking a shit ton of money for next episode when we are going to put a cargo hub in Industry Hill for the train, or a cargo depot. I'm going to get... I'm going to confuse those all the time, but either way. We worked on Farmville. We added some farms to take care of some of our industry needs. We have more of it, which is great news for us. And we connected Farmville up. We need to have a return route back to the Pinwheel District, which I've just decided is the name. Not going to need to name this one. This one's just going to be known as the Pinwheel District. Um, perfect. Victoria Heights. While wow, that sounds great. It's specialized. No, it's not. Why? I get confused by that every time. This is the Pinwheel District. 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 Yes. Pinwheel District. Boom. Uh, we might we might change that to Pinwheel City or something. Pinwheel District just sounds weird as a district name, but. Um, yeah, we've done a lot, but as I promised, I need you guys to help me. Which tile should we buy next? Should we buy this one? Uh, which is 16,000. Are these all pretty much the same? Kind of. They're... We're looking at $20,000 for a tile purchase. Should we buy this one? All for this, like, sad piece of land that we're never gonna use? Probably not. Um, what are the benefits? Well, over here, if we add a district over here, we can maybe, I don't know, link the highway up over to here. That's a benefit, I guess. This one's got a bunch of farmland in it. I think this one has some minerals in it, which we might need to look at getting sooner rather than later. More farmland, or should we get this one, which is the one I'm kind of leaning toward, because we can hook up Quakeites, this interchange, up to this one. That's probably the best bet, honestly. Or we could get this one, which has a bunch of trees, so we could start a foresting um, thing. And I think that's mineral as well. I will just show you guys real fast the map for the natural resources. Um, yeah, it looks like ore. No, that's oil over there, too. Wow. Actually, no. Ore is over here. We can't get it. Although, if we got this one, we could get some of it. And this one, too. But, yeah, ore looks like two big tile purchases away. And if we get this one, we'll be able to get that ore and the oil in the next um, purchase. So I think I'm going to buy this one, but I'm not going to do it until the next episode. So you guys let me know on that. And um, yeah, until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for participating in One Way Bay. It's really an honor to see how many people want their input be heard for One Way Bay. So keep up the good work, guys. I'll try my best to keep up the good work on my end. And until next, next time, guys, I will see you.